Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Foxon and this is Daily Rambles. Today we are doing Legend of Korra Season 1 Episode 5 called The Spirit of the Competition. So we start off with their practicing and uh, basically Korra decided to leave um, the task force for a little bit so she can work on her probating stuff. So they're practicing and it's, um, there's like the semi um, tournament is tonight. And then we cut to where Sami gets them new uniforms and we we'll still have Bolin crushing on Korra and Korra is crushing on Mako. And then um, when uh, Sami leaves, Bolin, uh, then Korra leaves because she's got to go do Avatar stuff. So Bolin and Mako talk about Korra. Mako likes her too, but um, kind of misses it, but kind of takes it back. And because um, <laughs> he started, he's, like, he's trying to like, juggle like Asami and Korra and just like no no you need to not do that because you know that's crazy one it's like what are you setting the bill for your competition and what's on your team so I wouldn't do, I wouldn't have done anything until after the competition was one over and two did to that a little bit more that's just my opinion but anyway <sighs> then we cut to where uh, Korra vents to the girls about Mako and then Pema overheard it and it offers better advice and uh, she just confessed her love to Tenzin because she, because Tenzin was dating another girl. At first she didn't say anything, but when it came to Unbearable, she just blurted it out and it worked. So Cora is actually going to try that. Then it's tournament time and uh, they have a very easy win and it was a really cool action scene, honestly. And then uh, Cora tells Maka how she feels and that was a hard no from him. Then Bolin asks the core out, and that was a note, but then changes her mind when Mako and Asami are kind of lovey-dovey a little bit, and she kind of gets jealous. She's like, you know what? I could use some fun, so why not? And, um, Bolin, and, let's see, then we cut to where... Oh, uh, some... Okay, so the leader of the, um... Wolf Bats is at a restaurant where um, Bolin and Cora are um, eating dinner. And it's very, he's a very creepy dude, and they animated him to be really creepy. Oh my gosh. And he's a nasty dude, but the Naga kind of scared him, and they just laugh. And then we have a cool, like, uh, like a nice, like, scene between Bolin and Cora as they enjoy the city and have, like, a date night. And it's, like, super fun and super great. And then Mako talks to Korra before the tournament, and then uh, Korra calls him out on it, and he denies that um, he likes her. And um, then we cut to where it's match time, and Bolin is, basically, Bolin is basically carrying the team, and he takes over the um, tiebreaker, and they win. Then Mako and Korra talk, and then he does like her, and so Korra just straight up kisses him, but then Bolin saw it with a bunch of roses, and then he ugly cried and ran away. And um, then we cut to where Bolin is, Bolin is very sad, and then Mako talks to him and makes him get, uh, makes him get together for the semifinals. Uh, I guess it was just the start of the tournament. <laughs> My bad at the beginning. Then, um, let's see, so... Uh, it's not a, it's, so they're doing the semifinal, it's not great. Then Cora does a team meeting, and that was just not working. And Bolin got really, really hurt. And then Cora got knocked out. Um, and then Mako, but the both of them got knocked out, but Cora hung on and swung him up. No, wait, that was in the next episode. My bad. Anyway, uh, Cora wins the, the match because she got her stuff together. And they're heading to the finals, and then um, Mako and Bolin are fine, and then um, the leader of the uh, wolf bats, he mocks them, and then Korra heals Bolin. Then the wolf bats win their match, like, within, like, four minutes or something. It was really, really fast, and that was very insane, and um, it's crazy. <laughs> so that was the end of the episode. I really, really enjoyed this episode. I gave it a strong A. I feel like it could have been a little bit better. Just because, um, just like little things in there. I just feel like it could just, anyway. 
But overall, I really enjoyed it. The actual suits were really good. Um, I like the storyline a little bit, uh, but Mako did mess up and he needs to admit to it. And um, that hasn't happened yet. So anyway, really great video, um, episode. I really enjoyed it. And that's what I'm doing for this video. So like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think, do you agree, disagree, tell me your thoughts down below. And don't forget to subscribe because it does help out the channel a lot. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.